I like to listen to this frequency stuff before I go to bed. It just, so I don't know what helps you relax. I swear to God, it really makes you sleep easier. Um, so I'll listen to this before I go to bed. And this one just happens to have all these beautiful stars and stuff. So I um, was just looking at the pictures. And then it started showing the stars all moving. It's going to show it here in a second. But the visual is exactly the visual of what I was talking about that day when I went and it felt like I went into, like uh, how I explain it, like a record or something. Like it was all the lines, like all the realities are like a record. And um, and about the stars really being alive and stuff. And watch, this isn't the same visual, but um, I know it'll come. <laughs> Uh, but I wanted to say this stuff because it was so much like exactly what I was saying. And it's that same circular movement that I say everything's in. From your top of your head all the way down. Everything is in this movement that it shows with these stars and um, in our solar system. And oh, I'm moving off the things. I'm looking at the TV. Sorry. Um so see how all of that is consciousness it's all it's not stars like it is energy it is uh realities like everything is out there all of that is talking to you all the time too it is all alive and it's all connected and um I really want to show this picture because it just the first time I, I I've been watching this a while and the first time I was like oh that's really cool that's like but then the second time I was like oh my god that is exactly like that visual that I had when I went into that record uh, that like a tornado only you're not really moving but everything is moving super fast around you but it is different realms. It's like going through different realms and portals and stuff. And they're all around us. And um, I I keep having a whole bunch of things I want to talk about. So tomorrow I'm going to do some videos. I'm going to talk about uh, this ridiculous beauty standard. And, you know, what they've done to Rebel Wilson. And they did it to Adele. And, you know, it's ridiculous you know they, they keep trying to force people to be uh, all fit into the same mold when we're all so different and i'm so glad that that kind of stuff is really coming out because they've got people convinced like to try and just be like everybody else and we're all unique down to our very being i can't believe it's taken so long i'm telling you it was on more often now oh there okay let's see because it shows it, but it's got to show it up towards the top. Okay, that was the first one I saw. So the second one will come. But it's exactly how the universe is in movement and how it's the stars and stuff. It, everything is in movement. And they, they try and tell us, like, we're a planet and we're out there and orbit and all that stuff. No, it's the whole thing is like how I, everything works inside your body. Everything is in movement and everything is connected and everything is energy and realities that we create. I think it's getting close. If it goes through like a, a regular, but I haven't seen that yet. So I don't know. It's cool, still. I mean, it's kind of, um... Oh, but see the movement. And it's the way that the whole Milky Way looks, you know? How it, you can see, it is something in movement. See right there, you can see, like, there's a, a core, and everything is in movement. I think that that is super, super clear about that. But I really want to show that visual of the stars. It was so cool. It's probably, I've seen that kind of footage, I think, in the 
flat earth videos too because in some of those science experiments they show how we're stationary and it's the sky that's moving like the the stars like they're spinning something around over our head or something to make it seem like there's movement or something i don't know all i know is this is all nothing's real anyway so let's see there but see if it shows that bit up in the middle because I saw one where it showed that, where you really got the vision. But look at that. If it's all different realities, see if that's all different, everything moving. And see how all everything is that close together. There is no big space like that. You think there's all this space in between you and other realities, but there's not. They're just right there. See? Oh, right there. That's the perfect one. Oh, so you got to see... Oh, dang it. It had the perfect, um, the lines going around. I've got to quit looking at my damn ass TV and look at the phone when I'm looking at it on the phone. Hopefully that showed because I don't want to just keep it going and going and going. But anyways, all of that stuff isn't like what they sell you as space and stuff. It is atmospheric energy like color and movement and it has a natural state of being and that's one of the things what's big on them is trying to keep us out of balance because it is a natural state of being to be in you know to find balance and um you know they try and block us from finding balance that's why they keep everybody you know they just want to keep you on chemicals and drugs and not to your true self and your true potential but, hey, man, this is really cool one. It's one of the nighttime ones that, um, you know, the sound puts you. Or the, it's the frequency. And it does it just, like, settle you down to where you can relax. And it does. It's, it's that movement right there, like the record, with all of the songs right next to all the lines that make the music. See, micro, macro. Everything shows us what everything is. We just don't pay attention. We just focus on what we think. This is such a time of expansion. I find it just uh, fascinating, exciting, scary, sad. It's like everything, all the emotions wrapped up into this, this transition of uh, the collective consciousness. And this huge expansion that's happening. So it's, it is super exciting, but yeah, it's it's hard, no doubt about it. Especially when they have you up against a freaking rock. The water thing is just really because everybody drinks water at some point. I mean, even I, you know, I talk about the going and soaking in the tub, and. Now I'm like, Jesus Christ, what does it do to us when we're sitting there soaking? Because I try and soak in the Epsom soaks and stuff. It's like, oh my God, they're going to get it in us no matter what. I mean, they have an agenda, you know, and there's nothing that we can do about it. Just keep trying to spread the word for, you know, whoever is going to survive this so that they can all see and wake up to the truth. Because it's our grandkids kids that's who their target is i swear to god but anyways i'll um i'll end this because it's a long time to look at the stars probably for somebody but uh tomorrow i'm gonna do some videos on um definitely what this beauty standard is doing to us and this freaking celebrity worship of this kardashian kind of nonsense it's just this shallow world that they get people to chase after so they don't ever find the truth so anyways just more stuff to think about